Hello, friend, and thank you for joining me on the Watchman on the Wall channel. Let's get to this word from our sister Sandy Holman, Knoxville, Tennessee. Let your voice be heard. The Lord said, Beloved, you have a voice. You are my voice. I have called you to be a voice in the earth today. You will be effective and produce life, just as my voice spoke life in the beginning. I said, Let there be, and there was. That is the assignment for this moment of turnaround. This is a time to recreate and demonstrate and legislate, for the kingdom of God is here. Together we shall rule and reign. Together we shall take back my land. Going forward, there shall be no more blast from the past. Never forget, I am the first and I am the last. Tell my people I am calling them to be my mouthpiece, speaking order and balance. Speak my word boldly, with power, In a heart of belief, watch my word change the atmosphere from despair to deliverance. Speak to the wall of unbelief that so many so-called believers have built in the last season. What they saw as provision from the spirit of fear was a blockage that stopped my hand of provision. Have I not said in my word, only believe? All things are possible to him who believes. The hour is here for no more debates. Speak my word before it's too late. Speak life. Create the new. What you can not see, you will soon be shown. And what you have never known, you shall now be told. Let your heart beat with my heart to receive a new song, a song of love like you have never known. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, that we are speaking. We are able to speak on behalf of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, like the old song, it's your breath, Father, in our lungs, so we pour out our praise. Friend, think about it. Wherever you go today, you may be the only believer that somebody interacts with. You may be the only Christian that somebody talks to today. Lord, I pray, Father, that you would speak through me. I pray that you would speak through my friend. Lord Jesus, that our voices would be heard because it's your breath. But more than that, Father, that we would speak as we hear a word of encouragement, a word of rebuke. Maybe it's giving. Maybe it's an unspoken word. It's our actions or behaviors, Father. I thank you, Lord, that we, as your mouthpieces, Father, speak order and balance. Lord, we, let's do that right now, friend. Lord, right now, in our situations, in my family situation, in my friend's family situation, I speak order. I speak balance. Lord Jesus, in our communities, in our nations, I thank you, Lord, that we will not. We will not go on the the spinning whirlwind around us, Father, but we would stand with our feet firmly fixed on you as our rock-solid foundation, and we would speak to others, Father. We would speak the word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.